The second session that we look at is going to be looking at what I call the supernatural gospel. It's the beginnings of the epistle to the Galatians. In this you're going to see a tone of Paul set right from the beginning that is very different to the rest of the letters he wrote. Straight from the beginning he's going to say that he is an apostle and then immediately defend him. Not an apostle from man, not apostle appointed from man, but an apostle of the resurrection. He's going to be defending his supernatural calling. He doesn't have much time to spend time greeting the Galatians because the stakes are so high that he needs to get the message out straight away. We're going to see how God superintended Paul's writing of the, of the epistle to the Galatians as he does every single book of the Bible. Remember, the Bible is 100% the work of human beings and yet at the same time, 100% the work of God. It's a bit like the incarnation, Jesus, fully God, fully man. And we'll be looking at that. We'll also be uh, spending some time seeing how that the gospel is not just forgiveness of sins, but here Paul in this introduction speaks that it is a deliverance from this present evil age. A deliverance from a present evil age. This isn't just right standing before God. This isn't just a gospel that brings forgiveness of sins and eternal life. It actually takes you from one territory to another territory. Can you imagine living in Saudi Arabia? No, thank you. And living under their oppressive laws. Well, that's a little bit like being in the kingdom of darkness. But imagine you spent all your time in Saudi Arabia and then the SAS came and rescued you and took you to a place like Britain. You wouldn't know what to do with the new freedoms that you had, especially if you were a lady. You've been translated from one kingdom, the oppressive kingdom of Saudi Arabia, into the kingdom of the United King Kingdom, and the laws have changed. You're in a different place. This is what we'll be looking at in our first session here in Galatians text.